Okay. Okay. Hi, Juan Pablo. This is Yago from Switzerland, from Think Bamboo. Great to have you on the Think Bamboo podcast. Welcome. Thank you very much, Jago. It's a pleasure for me to see you again and to be here. And it's an honor to contribute to your podcast. Thank you very much. Thank you a lot to, to be here. And I'm really excited to share um, your story and um, all what you have done uh, in regards on bamboo. I've been following it also. And um, let's dig into. So um, can you... Um, Give us a, a quick intro how this bamboo journey started for you personally, because it has been a while already, right? Yes, yes, we have been. Uh, uh, my, my journey started uh, like 15 years ago um, and not exactly with bamboo. I, I uh, just like yourself, I, I bought a piece of land in the rural area of Guatemala on the Caribbean. And uh, just because I loved land and I wanted to make a permacultural project and uh, I started uh, trying with uh, different species of trees and uh, and uh, local uh, local plants and so and uh, for various reasons uh, there were some plants that weren't uh, were, they they would they weren't good for my project because I started the project with very low funds, so I did not have people to take uh, care like 24 hours uh, for everything that I planted. So if uh, you're not there to take care of all of your things all the time, people may steal it. So uh, I planted some things and, and people stole it. And then I planted other things and uh, the land wasn't right. And then I planted other things and uh, there was too much rain and it rot. So I started to, to, to try to make my permacultural system with many things. And for like maybe seven years, I was like uh, sending money and putting money on the, on the land and everything, paying employees and whatever, and nothing happened until I found some Guado Angustifolia uh, seeds that grew well. And uh, locals were not interested in what was happening with bamboo. So they left my bamboo to grow <laughs> and it was growing powerfully. So uh, I found that the, uh, with the bamboo, I, 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 I not just found the way for the land to, to grow something without being bothered by, by somebody stealing it. But in between, I was able to plant other things and the bamboo protected these things and people didn't want to, to go that much into my land. So I started to grow yucca and I started, uh, I started to, grow, to grow plantains and, uh, and ginger and it, it grew well in the midst of the, of the bamboo and uh, we started to get some production. So one thing led to another and my plantation is uh, the first plants have already like six or seven years are already full grown i'm already selling bamboo poles then uh, i knew that bamboo couldn't be sold or shouldn't be sold without curing so i found uh, i did my investi investigation and i found that the best way to treat it was uh, the the bushery system so i made my own I, with trial and error, I, I, I spent a lot of time and money also, but I, I nailed it. I, I found a way to, to, to cure the bamboo with a hundred percent rate of success. And I started building uh, to learn how to use the bamboo because uh, like 10 years ago, it's different from today. Today you have uh, maybe hundreds of people talking about bamboo, writing about bamboo, posting about bamboo, but 10 years ago, uh, you, almost you didn't find anything about bamboo that's true, so you know. i started reading i started making my own tests i i i, I screw uh, i screwed a lot of uh, of projects and and materials uh, into my 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 own learning curve so um uh, i managed uh, to make uh, a beautiful house an a-shaped house which uh, already tore down and we we made an, another one with three stories made only with bamboo which is wow. standing up it's very nice has almost uh, five years or six years right now maybe um, can accommodate can... like 20 people 
yeah well so that's for the the whole then uh, like ecotourism approach later then or very soon right regarding bamboo yeah i think we we forgot to mention you're located in uh, guatemala and that's central yep. america and um basically you're you're uh, really near or you're almost you're you're at the like it's like you have a river which is connected to the to the caribbean sea right if i recall correctly yes so it's a pretty awesome yes. location um and because of that probably it was also like kind of tricky to get the bamboo there um you didn't have any like neighbors having bamboo at all or where did you get the guadua from was it from guatemala itself or <laughs> no, the interesting thing is that my neighbor, uh, he planted the guadua bamboo. He brought it, brought the seeds from Colombia, and he uh, he planted on all the on the limit. So the bamboo started growing on my side, and and and, and uh, putting uh, some sp sprouts starting to get on my side. Yeah. So I took those sprouts and, and planted my and planted my own. And cool. also uh, okay. another neighbor, cool. he had one plant of fully fully grown uh, guadua, and he didn't want it anymore. So he tore it down, and he told me uh, take away all the roots. So I took all away all the roots, and I had like a hundred uh, seeds from that. Wow! Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So maybe we can we can give a little insight into it. the guadua. Is it like the guadua, um, like the Colombian one? um yes, like it's, a the Mansa. Yeah. it's a colombian one so it's very straight it has no thorns at all and uh, basically it's kind no, of it, uh, it does have thorns it does have it it does have thorns yes it it's, it's the water angles you find a fruit but with yeah. turns oh with then turns. It's, yes, yes with thorns okay so it is uh with not thorn. the it's it's not the um, it's it's one of the guadua angustifolia kunt but there are like four or five different and the one has thorns and yep. other has no thorns so the thorny one is good for complicated neighbors <laughs> but is more yeah. of a challenge for um the harvesting part of course because uh, yeah you have to really be careful with that but the other thing which is interesting is that it's it's kind of a running bamboo maybe not as much running as it's a slow running bamboo actually um the guadua and um because it's tropical, of course, and it's really endemic to uh, Latin America, uh, like the area of what is it, Colombia, Peru, and the, probably Venezuela, and Ecuador. So, um, yes. so that's interesting. Cool, very cool. And um, regarding uh, you, I heard you would be you, you're going to be pretty soon in uh, Europe, in uh, Germany, right? Yes, yes, we are going to visit the. Uh... Uh, the Dortmund Expo, Bamboo World Bamboo Expo, Euro European Bamboo Expo on, on June, yes, and uh, we are going to make a presentation there uh, because things are, have been uh, developing in Guatemala, you know, uh, we have been speaking uh, like uh, maybe for two years with yourself, and uh, yes. uh, we started uh, the plan to, to, to place uh, an, an industrial processing uh, plant for bamboo, on the on the uh, south area of the country, with some of uh, some uh, partners over there, he uh, one of the partners he has like two thousand and one hundred um, asper plants, wow. fully grown and wow. fully mature, and we are going to start processing that. Awesome. So we are right now we are we are buying the machines mm -hmm. to to produce the the squared strips, and then we are going to press them into wood. So wow. that's what we're doing, over, uh, we're doing over there. And also uh, with the parts that you cannot make uh, wood, we are going to make uh, charcoal and we are going to start Very selling cool. it locally and mm -hmm. importing it. So you're going to build timber, bamboo, beams, kind of for construction. And we are going to start with, uh, with the planks, wood planks and and boards and okay. later maybe we're going to to make some beams of of engineer wood okay so the boards like like for a um for um like um furniture or uh, stuff like that probably yes uh, we we are um the um, the idea came for from looking at bamboo uh, we have been uh, we have been discussing with bamboo the possibility of uh, of supplying them some materials. 
Mm -hmm. So uh, the idea was to prepare ourselves to sell to them. But if, uh, if we cannot uh, finalize a deal, uh, the idea is to have ready material to sell to local uh, furniture manufacturers and house manufacturers also as well, local and international. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I, I didn't know that. I mean, hey, congrats. That's, that's huge. I Thank saw... You. Um, one of the projects where, where you were involved with, uh, I think it was CASA, the organization where you um, guys um, achieved, like you built a new bamboo construction, something like uh, a while ago also. Um, so I was like, oh, you have been busy. <laughs> the thing is, uh, uh, CASA, uh, uh, right now I just uh, come with a meeting uh, for, from a meeting with Tono Aguilar, which is the owner of CASA. He's, uh, he's my friend. And uh, we are collaborating in different things. So one of the things that we are going, doing together right now is that we are uh, on the National Organizing Committee for the World Bamboo um, Workshop that is going to be placed in Guatemala in, Octo in October. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, collaborating in many things. Um, what we did last year is that I presided the, the, national, uh, the first National Bamboo Congress uh, in Guatemala. Yeah, um, I I think I saw them too. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, you you. I think um, you sent me uh, a, a a post in the news about the uh, about the Taiwan uh, in the industrialization plant in Guatemala. Yes. So that's the place where we uh, where where we uh, that was the venue where we did the the, the first uh, bamboo oh. congress. Cool. Yeah. Wow. Things are rolling. Yeah. That's that's great, yeah. really, to hear. I'm very, very happy. This is very good news because there has yeah, been like, you. I mean, most people probably who are looking at this podcast don't know, but like bamboo is not something new, but it's something like most people are not aware of kind of or it has uh, have a, yes. had a rough start, let's say. So let's hope that now that the whole planet is in a prices uh, that the bamboo is really gonna take off and uh, yeah bring some positive change <laughs> that would be really cool yeah <laughs> of course yeah yeah um, this you you see that in the in bar uh, reports uh 10 years ago the world bamboo business was for around eight uh billion dollars eight to ten billion dollars and right now it's up to 60 to 80. Yeah, and uh, by 2030, it's going to be over 100 billion dollars annually. Yeah. So uh, it, it 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 isn't just a big business; it's uh, the solution for uh, climate change, for wood production, for uh, housing, for uh, rural development for many, many things, as, as you may have seen on my presentation, uh, we see bamboo uh, not anymore just like uh, uh, wood or, 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 or something punctual. Uh, we, see it as, we see it as a whole system, a holistic system that comes from the plants and the seeds all together to export and, and, and markets. Because in between, there are people who plant it, people who care for it, people who train in order to build with it, to, to make uh, furniture. Then you have to sell it, you have to, to merchandise it. So uh, there, then you have uh, uh, from whatever is left, you have the, the, the carbon, uh, biochar, uh, activated carbon, and you know, a thousand things more. but. Uh, the the idea is that we we don't see bamboo just with one thing. We are not just planting bamboo or an industrializing bamboo. We are doing every, everything. You see that w whatever uh, we want to make a, a big plantation, we are planning for an eco, an eco village that uh, not only heightens the the livelihoods of people locally, but shows everybody else that bamboo is a powerful tool for development and for for uh, climate mitigation. mitigation. And regarding community, how um, is that on like on a local level in um, where you have the your farm, um, have other like neighbors started now also like asking you, hey, can you maybe give me some seeds? We would like to plant some bamboo or is this slowly happening or 
how is the situation there um i have had in the last like um four or five years maybe some four to five uh not neighbors like like uh like in the vicinity but maybe a uh, 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 10 kilometers on, away. on the yeah. away uh, they have been to 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 my property they wanted to see the bamboo how is it growing what am i doing with it they took videos of the houses uh, and whatever my my employees were doing of my shop uh, because you know i have a wood shop uh, for bamboo all the all the furniture that we have been doing and all the the the, the companion planting for for bamboo and everything so uh, uh, yes, it has been a lot of uh, interest on the on the on the plantation and whatever we are doing on, on the area. We have been selling a lot of plants. We have been selling a lot of poles, cured poles, and uh, um, we have uh, also signed some some um, collaboration projects with local universities. So uh, cool. and next month on the fifteenth, we are going to have a group of twenty. Uh, uh, guys from the university, from the architectural uh, uh, studies, and also from yeah. engineering. Yeah. Cool. We are That's we are good. giving them all the support they need in order for get to get hands on on bamboo because for them it's something new. But they want to know. They want to stay on the on the bamboo house. They want yeah. to to make them some things, uh, a chair or whatever, to touch it, to cut it, to to feel it. So we are working a lot on that and uh, we are planning for new workshops uh, to be done there and locally in the city to, to help people, universities and, and whoever is wanting to, to learn about bamboo and to get his hands on, on it yeah. and, uh, and to start loving it. Wow, so this is pretty, this is again very positive because this means that uh, you're uh, like uh, getting a new generation of uh, bamboo uh, enthusiast um, on the bamboo uh, train basically with uh, architects uh, future architects and future uh, engineers this is uh, really something uh, very positive too i mean um, normally uh, yeah as you said they don't learn that at the universities right now not in latin america or very very few um, and uh, you're changing that though so that's that's really that's very very again amazing um really <laughs> um yeah thank you thank you it's, uh, for me it's, uh, it's something uh, beautiful to be in the center of of all of this i can imagine absolutely i mean uh, yes <laughs> this is this is what was missing kind of and i'm glad it's it's really taking off now there um i know it takes time i mean that's uh, the crazy thing um I wanted to ask you also if you have like uh, some um, yeah. recommendation in regarding like um, I mean you're now manufacturing bamboo from uh, like a raw product to a uh, added value product like the, what you mentioned before. Um, so um, you probably yes. see like a lot of the details and the materials you have to use and the ways you have to work so that the bamboo uh, uh, keeps the quality and um, like stays um dry no humidity and all that so um from a consumer point of view is there like one or two or maybe three things you would like um or you can like tell people like recommend if you buy or think about buying a bamboo product um things they can like uh, look uh, which may help them to take a educated um decision regarding uh, buying bamboo products, you know, like what can they look for or what should they, you know? Okay, okay. Um, we should like um, have our, our minds on that uh, with bamboo, we have different kind of products. There are industrialized products, which are, it's like uh, pressed wood and whatever is done with that. Uh, normally, nobody is going to, to invest uh, whatever is needed uh, to put up an industrialization plant if they are not going to sell cured bamboo. So I think that uh, every product that you may find uh, of uh, industrialized bamboo is going to be of a high quality. 
So I would say that uh, whenever you find uh, bamboo wood or bamboo engineer wood, is going to be of a very very high quality. So I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, like um, be pro preoccupied uh, with uh, with the quality of it. Uh, the problem uh, that you may find uh, at some at some point. It could be uh, whenever you are going to buy uh, bamboo poles, like raw poles. Raw, yeah, uh, like the round ones. Buy poles, <laughs> yeah, the, the round ones, yes. Yeah. Because the there, uh, you're going to, to, to have people like me when I started. I only had the plantation. Uh, so uh, if you only have the plantation, the only thing I can sell you is poles. Absolutely. So uh, the difference between one quality pole and one not a good quality pole it's only the uh, the curing method and the time yeah, that you that you uh, that you drive and how you drive that's the only two things and um, of course there are some people that they they, they only have the, the 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 bamboo plants and they are going to cut the poles and sell them to you and then you're going to be uh, in charge of curing it. And if you don't do it in time, uh, the, 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 the small uh, insects are going to eat it away. So that's why I, I, I thought that in order to sell bamboo, the first thing was uh, for me to be able to offer a 100% uh, uh, security that the bamboo pole was Cured, yeah. one hundred percent cured, so it's not going to give you any problems. And then we dry it uh, and on the shade. It's mm -hmm. a very hot area, so we dry it on the shade, not on direct sunlight, because if you leave it in direct sunlight, it's going to break because it's going to dry too fast. Too fast. So yeah, that's yeah. the the thing that I would say. And also, uh, whenever it depends on what are you going to build. Because if you need a super strength of the bamboo and you don't want a 20 centimeter pole, then you should use guadua. If you only want 10, 10 centimeter poles, then you, you, you should use guaduas because guaduas have a higher, uh, higher lignin content and they are uh, a little bit stronger and uh, can withhold more weight and, and more stresses than aspirin. But if you uh, don't have a problem when, with using uh, 20 or 22 centimeter poles, then you can use uh, Giganteus or Asper, which is going to work like fantastic. But take very much care on the drying and the curing. If, you're, if your provider is going to give you 100% uh, assurance that he's using the best system or a very good system, then those are the recommendations that I could tell you that you should follow. Have you also thought about um, like certification? I don't know if there is like already like a ISO certification or something similar for bamboo um, maybe, or is this not something, or is this something for the future? Yes, it's something, it's something for the future, but last week we had a, a meeting with uh, some friends because we are we are organized into an agro chain, uh, mm -hmm. which has a lot of um, links that come from the 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 seedlings up to the finalized product and and the merchandising yeah. of it. Yeah. So um, that's uh, the agro chain in Spanish is Agro Cadena, and it's recognized by the government. So I'm the vice president of that agro chain as well, uh, and we have many uh, meetings with the with the government. And one of the last ones that we had was uh, about exactly that, uh, certifications and uh, traceability. Mm -hmm. So you can know where it was planted, by whom, how it was uh, pr pr processed, how was it, uh, uh, um, what, was, what were the logistics, the curing system, whatever. The whole so, story. Uh, we're the whole, working yeah. on that. Cool. We don't That's... have it right now, but we okay. are working on it because okay. it's very valuable. If uh, yeah. you want something in, 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 in Switzerland and Basel, uh, maybe uh, you will like it to, to have certifications in which you, you know what quality are you going to receive. I assume so that uh, most uh, constructions here in uh, Switzerland and Europe probably 
um they would need some kind of certification to really have like more security and uh i mean uh, you know normally how things are in latin america and it's uh, tricky uh, for uh, uh yeah the environment here in in uh, europe which is even more in the german speaking uh, countries which are much more strict and uh, yeah <laughs> it's a different world <laughs> yeah you know you know I know actually what we are doing is just a, a, a simple test, like um, like samples from, from the poles that have been cured. Uh, we take out the, 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 the samples and we send it to the lab mm -hmm. in order to, to have a certificate of the quantity of the curing material that is uh, uh, contained inside the wood of the pole. Okay, that's, that's, what, that's... what we are doing right now. But, but of course, an ISO certification or something like that uh, it's something that we have on site. Okay, that's cool. Uh, one one more question I have on the back of my head regarding um, the oh, and of course we're running out of time. <laughs> um, is uh, um, regarding are are you like also um, um, like um, getting new bamboo seeds or like seedlings? Are you are you growing bamboo? on site um and if yes um how do you do it do you like propagate the bamboo from bamboo or are you working with seeds i mean um probably not because normally you don't have the seeds it's just once the bamboo dies right so um what's your approach here yes um as as i uh, um shared with you in my presentation um our plans for the next five years is to uh, to 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 plant like ten thousand hectares of bamboo. So we are going to need a lot of plants for that. So actually, we already have uh, like around uh, twenty five thousand guadua plants ready think, for yeah. for planting. How big and are six, they? The the um, ones you have. Um, some of them are like uh, one and a half meters. Some of them okay. over that. Wow. They are quite big right now, yes. Cool. And so they're ready have, to uh, be planted. <laughs> they're ready Absolutely. to be planted, yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, then we have uh, some six, south, six to 7,000 asper seeds. Uh, those asper seeds are, um, uh, from, are taken from stakes from my, my big plants, my big asper plants. Mm -hmm. But my big asper plants come from seed because um, we thought, um, the first asper seeds came to Guatemala on the 70s. Mm -hmm. So the 70s up to this, uh, this uh, 2023 that we are right now Please. is like 53 years. And you know that uh, they have um, they have a floration uh, uh, no, como es? floración yeah. in, floration in, in cycle. Yes. A floration <laughs> cycle which uh, they it, once they do it in groups, Everybody. they all die. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that comes every seventy-five to one hundred and twenty-five years. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to use a clone of a plant that already has fifty-three years, so how much time do you have with that with that plant? It's going to be twenty-five years, Maybe. or five, yeah. or or uh, I don't know. So uh, we thought that it was good to get fresh seeds uh, from sexually um, um, major bamboo, sexually yeah, yeah. Re reproduced uh, uh, plants. Mm -hmm. So I bought a lot of seeds, and that's uh, that from from seeds. I, I took care of them like five years ago, mm -hmm. and I I made plants and and I put it on my land. So I, on my land, I, the, all the plants that I have on my land have like three or four years old, and from them I'm taking out stakes. So that's the, 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 the method that I'm using right now to reproduce the, the, the asper. The asper and the guadua, as I told you, I am, I am taking, I am taking a small uh, uh, seedlings that come out of the old, older plants. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, those are, are the ones that we are using with the, with the guadua. Great. So you, I mean, 10,000 hectares is uh, quite a it's approach. Lovely. Yes, yeah, lofty goal, but yeah. but I think it's it's doable. Uh, right now, uh, we we just uh, started with the idea like six months ago, and we already have like two thousand hectares of uh, hectares of people that uh, they want us to 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 execute our plan, 
and that's why I'm, I'm I am visiting Dortmund to to tell to tell everybody there. Okay, we are ready to plant. We have to plant. We have everything. So you can, uh, if you need a carbon offset, you can uh, forward the money to us, like uh, for us to make the plantation. And the next year, we, you we are going to be able to sell those uh, carbon offsets like right away with with high quality uh, plantations made in association with other plants with uh, eco villages so many many things not just plantations you know mm -hmm. okay that's that's pretty amazing I mean you're advancing very fast for being in uh, uh, Central America so really very uh, again I'm amazed I'm amazed um, we have exactly five minutes left now um do you have okay. maybe um I don't know closing um um a thing you would like to um say I don't know maybe regarding uh, the presentation in Germany or is there another future project maybe you want to mention? Maybe I would like to address um, how we uh, Latin Americans approach bamboo. Um, I have seen a lot of, um, what's the name, um, we don't want to share. Everybody wants to do the thing and they don't want to share. Uh, so we don't know what's our neighbor, uh, our neighbor, what's he doing. And uh, instead of trying to do all the things like alone by ourselves, if we contribute, if we uh, work together with the rest of the people, things are going to, to grow and, and, and exponentially. Uh, so instead of trying to, to make, uh, 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 to, to sum, uh, to, to, to add, if I add one plus one, we're going to have two. But if we multiply, what we know, what I know, and what he knows, and what you know, and then later we're going to grow exponentially. So uh, my journey has been uh, very interesting, and 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 I think that the most difficult thing that I have that I have found is that everybody thinks that they they have to protect whatever whatever they know, and I, from from the point of view that I'm right now, I can tell you the market is so big. And the planet needs so much bamboo that you are not going to be able to do it by yourself. And the market, you are not going to be able to buy it. It's, it's over a lot, of, much bigger than your mouth on my mouth. So if we work together, then we are going to create a powerful economy that is going to change all rural areas and third world countries and we are going to have equality but first we have to learn to cooperate yeah. that's a that's a true message and uh, important one and um, probably it's going to take time but hey you're you're on totally on track and the train is moving fast so very cool I hear you're going to be uh, near um, my place soon so I hope we're going to meet then um, in person so. and um, I'll uh, publish the blog post um, uh, very soon and I'll be happy to share also um, some fragments from your um, presentation I'll show you before and um, hey fantastic and uh, continue and uh, thank yeah you. thank you a lot um, again for your time Juan Pablo and uh, talk to you soon it's my pleasure my friend and you know I'm still I'm still waiting for you. Visit the Guatemala. You owe me, my friend. That's okay? true. That's true. <laughs> okay. See you okay, soon. So take care. Okay. Pablo. I will see you soon then. Thank take you, Jacko. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. <laughs>